praise the Lord. Eat. Hallelujah. Would you be free from your blood?
touched by God this morning. And we know, we know the God that we are serving this morning. Right, Sister Dana? He is mighty. He is mighty this morning. Mighty in battle. Hallelujah. Turn to the person next to you and just give them a greeting. And a God love you this morning. And say, good to see you in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. As we welcome our dear Pastor O'Neill this morning. Amen. Come on, give somebody a hug. Give somebody, somebody a hug in the ministry here. Feel nice, Pastor. Feel nice. Feel nice this morning. Come on, hook up you, man. I only see you once a week. Hey. Amen, amen. Come on, make somebody feel good in the house of the Lord. Come on, let somebody feel good in the house of the Lord. Sister Genevieve, you need to run and give your pastor a hug. I haven't seen you in such a long time. What's he? What's he? Where's Sister Dana? Oh my gosh, Sister Dana. Sister Dana wasn't here last week, but her birthday passed. Let's give her a hand. Sister Dana. And look what the come here, come here. Look what the Lord has done. Didn't we pray for this young lady? Does she look sick? Look what the Lord has done. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Share your testimony, sister. Share your testimony. Keep standing, saints. Keep standing. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord this morning because he's worthy to be praised. You know, last week, Sunday morning, this time I was in the hospital. And I know this week, maybe you guys will be preparing my funeral. But God has touched me. And I have so much to give him thanks for. You see, I went into the hospital Sunday morning. I woke up. I was looking after my supper, breakfast, and everything. And I just got sick. I had to wake up my husband and I said, take me to the hospital. And we were there for the whole day. And uh, I'm not ashamed to talk what has happened to me, but every blood in my body came out. He was running, pouring like you turn on the faucet. And by Monday morning, they had to be running tests on me to find out where I was bleeding and they couldn't find where. I remember when I came from the operating room and they took me out, they didn't even have a room, they didn't have a bed for me and they just leave me at the front, right there at the nurse's station and they just put a barrier around me. Pastor Kins is true because he came to visit. My husband was there, my aunt, and the pastor was there, and they left. All I remember was that I want to go to the bathroom. And when I got up to go to the bathroom, the whole place was spinning with me. And I said, you know what? I better lie down. And I lie there, and I don't know how long I was lying there. All I remember was they were calling my name. And I woke up. And there was this guy over me saying, I have to take you to the ICU. And I said, why? And he said, you are very, very sick. And I said, no, I'm not sick. I'm just feeling cold. Little did I know from my feet down coming up, I, it was literally dead. They couldn't find any movement. I said, I'm cold, I need a blanket. And they put the blanket over me. Then the doctor came. And they said, we have to bring the high seat you down here because there is no bed upstairs. Mm -hmm. And they started to string me up with everything you know that people get. They said, we're giving you oxygen. They put the IV on. They were giving me everything. And you know what? In less than 10 minutes, they said, she's doing good. Her heart rate is good. Everything is beating. And I like her. And I prayed and I said, God, I need a touch from you. All I know, I fell asleep. The next morning, they woke me up to took my vitals and my blood. And I said to nurse, I want to take a shower. And she said, really? And I said, yes, I'm a person who take early morning shower. And they took the high V out. And I went and I took my shower. And I came back, and they stringed me up back, and I lied there. And I was there for the whole week. They couldn't find out what was wrong. But the doctor came in yesterday morning with a smile on his face. 
And he said, do you really want to go home? And I said, yes, I want to go home. You see, tomorrow, which is today, is my son's birthday. That was 27 years ago. I gave birth to him and I have to be home. You see, and I went home yesterday. And I thank everybody who was in my corner. I remember Sister Fiona came and she prayed for me and Sister Sandra. And they said, how are you feeling, Sister Angie? I said, I don't know. But Saturday I'm going home to clean my house and Sunday morning I am going to church. And I'm here to worship the Lord. And I lied here yesterday and my husband said, you're not cleaning any house today. I'm going to clean and I'm going to cook. But this morning he got up and he cooked and I said, I am going to church. You're going to drop me off and you're going to pick me up as usual. And I'm here because God is good. And I lie here and I say, God, you have been so good to me. You have given me more than one chance in my life. And I don't know why, but you got to tell me why. And he said one word to tell the church, order, 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 order. And I said, I don't understand. He said, order. When we go to church, we just stand before God. Order. Have you ever walked into a courtroom? Last year, I was called to be jury at the courthouse. And you know, when you go into a courthouse, you can't be true gum. They will throw you out. Because when the judge comes in, everybody has to stand. And you have to be in order. So when we stand before God, we should come with order. Prepare to get something from him. That when we leave and these things happen, he will always be there. I want to thank the church from the bottom of my heart. I know you have been praying. I heard you have been praying, and I know, because I felt your presence, each and every one of you. I love you this morning with the passion of my heart, just as how God loved me. And I know he has done great things for me. Thank you very much, and God bless you. Hallelujah. The doctors can give her IV, the doctor can give her transfusion, the doctor can give her vitamins and such like, but the doctors can't give her a praise. So we have our strength and she has her praise. Let's stand to our feet and give God praise. We see reason that God is our healer. Our God is our sustainer. When the doctors can't find out what's wrong, God can find out what's wrong and make things right. Give God praise. Oh, hallelujah. You don't understand how fragile life is, saints. You're here today. You are gone tomorrow. Your life can slip here just like that in an instant. Only God can make you survive. Only God can sustain you. Anyone that thinks that they're of their own strength is a certified fool. God got you up. God woke you up this morning. God made you know what to do, where to brush your teeth. Put on your clothes. Be yes. nice say to come out your house. It's God. Right mind. Yes. Let's not take it for granted, but let's honor God. Hallelujah. Let's honor God. Let's honor God. And let's continue to be the church. When somebody's hurt, we all are hurt. When somebody's mournful, we're all mournful. Well, guess what? When someone is rejoicing, guess what? The church has a happy dance because we're a family and the family of God. Hallelujah. Psalm 19. Psalm 19. Prepare our hearts for Holy Word. While our sister Georgia prepares to present the end morning's announcements, the heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. Day unto day unto speech, and night unto night showeth 
There is no speech, no language where the, their voice is not heard. Their light has gone out through all the earth and their word to the end of the world. In them have he set a tabernacle for the sun, which is as a bridegroom cometh out of his chamber and rejoiceth as a strong man to run a race. Anybody in a race this morning? Hallelujah. Anybody in a race this morning? Turn to your neighbor and say, I'm in it to win it. His going forth is from the end of the heaven and is circuit unto the ends of it. And there is nothing hid from the heat thereof. The love of the Lord is what? It's perfect. Converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right. Rejoicing thee, the commandment of the Lord is enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and are righteous on together. Seems like uh, David's a poet, eh? Yeah. <laughs> more to be desired are they than gold. Yea, much more than fine, much more, sorry, than much fine gold. Sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. Moreover by them Thy servant is warned, and in the keeping of them, there is great reward. Who can understand his errors? Cleanse thou me from secret faults. Yes, Keep back thy servants from presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me. Then shall I be upright, and I shall be innocent from the great transgression. <clears throat> Let the words of our mouth, can we raise our hands for this? And the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. There are individuals that have needs, even as we speak. I want to ask your sister to show please come up. Yes, she can. She can't move right now. Okay. See that she's have she needs some air. Just stretch your hands towards her and say, Lord, be with her. Touch her, Lord. Amen. You see, the devil doesn't like an atmosphere like this. He doesn't like hearing testimonies, but we just heard the testimony and we know God is going to do what needs to be done. Amen. Amen. Let's point your hands toward her and pray. You don't have to touch her. It's not, it's not in you, it's in Jesus. Let us just believe. Father, in the name of Jesus, we need a quick one right now. Right now, right now, right now. Here's a daughter. She's on the praise team. She's singing, but she's not well. She is at the top of us. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray you touch her. Touch her right now. Right now. Right now. Give us a praise report. Right now, I rebuke. We call it done. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Come on, put your hands together and give God a praise. Is that how long you pray? It's believing. You have something for yourselves. It may not be physical, but you have a strain, you have a stretch, just raise your hand right now. Just put up your hand, just put up your hand. Something beyond. Listen, you must understand a demonic, you must know the devil as you know God. Yes. You gotta know the blessings of God as you know the evil of the adversary. Yes. And he, sometimes we just sit and we're, we're, we're under attack and it seems like it's just normal. Yes. And we take, we take the abnormal to be normal, but we bind it in the name, in the name of Jesus. Hold my hand, evangelist. Hold my hand. We bind it in the name of Jesus. We curse every abnormal spirit, every attack on the job, oh, in a marriage, in the body, in the finances, in the mind. We curse it in the name of Jesus. We rebuke. We cancel every plan. We cancel every decision. 